Hey everyone, Brian Marino here with Apex Software. And in this video, I wanted to go over some tips and tricks on measuring and drawing curves in Apex Sketch version 7. Before I get started, if anyone has any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Also, if you take a look at the description of this video, you'll be able to skip through the different parts of the video. So if you don't want to watch the whole thing, check the description. There'll be hyperlinks you can click on to take you to specific parts of the video. Also, if you know anyone that would be interested in this, um, feel free to like, share, and or subscribe so you don't miss out on any updates. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into drawing curves. So what you see here on the screen is two different curve scenarios that I run into quite often. The top one is pretty much a straight curve. So there's a straight chord and then the, it's a curve off of, you know, a straight plane. The other one I run into quite often is like curved corners. So the bottom example is how we would get a curved corner. So I'll kind of go over both of these scenarios and show you how you can measure it in the field and then how you can actually draw it in Apex 7. So the first one we'll go over is the top example of pretty much a straight curve. We see the curve starts where the blue line is and it ends on this side where the blue line is. So that's going to be called our chord. How big is the opening of this curve? And in this case it's 20 feet across for the opening of the curve. So that's one measurement you're going to want to take in the field. How far is it from one side of the curve to the other? The second measurement we're going to want to take to draw it in apex is how tall is the curve. So for this example, it's six feet tall. So if you measure from the center point up, how tall is it? We're going to use those two numbers to draw this curve. And then finally, the 24.5, that is the length all the way around the curve. So you, you could measure this to confirm what you're drawing using the two measurements below is correct, but you don't necessarily need this measurement to draw this curve. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag and move this over to the left, and I'm going to go into draw mode. Okay, so I'm going to start with the top example here. So I'm going to just draw a 10 foot line to the right, tap enter, and now I'm at the point where I want to draw that curve. So we know the chord is 20 feet, so I'm going to go ahead and type in 20 on my keyboard and tap the right arrow. The curve starts where the red dot is on the left side. It ends where my green cursor is. So now I need to start curving the wall. The way I'm going to curve the wall, I'm a keyboard user, so I prefer to use my keyboard, but you can do it two different ways. You can either tap the plus or minus key on the right side of your keyboard. Uh, each time you tap plus, it'll curve one way. Each time you tap minus, it'll curve the opposite way. So you can kind of do that to curve it, or you can roll the wheel on your mouse. I'm rolling it up, I'm rolling it down. So you can also use your mouse wheel to curve. I prefer to use the keyboard 10 key though. Okay, so what we wanna do now that we have our chord set, we wanna go ahead and start curving that wall. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna tap the minus key on the keyboard. And each time I tap minus, it's curving the wall 15 degrees. You can't see the degree yet. You'll see it here. So we have a 45 at the bottom in green. That is the arc angle. Arc angles are hard to measure. They're not easy to get. So I don't use that often. On the curved corner, it'll be more relevant because usually curved corners are 90 degrees if it's a smooth curve. But for this example, we're not even going to pay attention to the arc angle. We're going to look more at the chord and the arc height. So the chord is the 20 in red. The arc height on the right there is in green. It shows 2. So our arc height should be 6 according to our measurements there on the left. So I'm going to go ahead and tap minus again. We're at 2.7, 3.4. 4.1, 4.9, 5.8. Now we need to get to 6. So now that I'm at this point, if I do it minus one more time, I'm going to go past it to 6.7. So I'm going to go ahead and hit plus, get it back to 5.8. And then I'm going to hold down the shift and control key on my keyboard. And then I'm going to tap the minus. We're at 5.9, 6 feet. So I continued tapping minus while holding control and shift until that number got to six. Once we get our arc height to six, I'm gonna go ahead and tap enter. And there is our wall. And then we'll notice our arc length matches. We got 24.5 on both walls. So we're done. We can go ahead and go 10 right and move on with our sketch. 
So that's one way to draw a curve if it's on a, on a straight plane. The other example would be we can also come in and I'm going to do it one more time and I'm going to show you how to draw this using your mouse. So we're still going to enter the numbers using the keyboard, but I'm going to drag the curve out using the mouse to give you any, another way you can draw this curve. So I'm going to go ahead and type 10 over enter. I'm going to go 20 over and I'm going to go ahead and place this wall and then I'm going to go 10 more over enter and tap enter one more time to pick up my cursor. So what we did is we drew this chord as a straight wall and we can come back after the fact and curve it. So I'm going to come to my pointer arrow now and I'm going to click on the 20 foot wall and you'll notice right in the middle there's a dot. I'm going to go ahead and drag that dot up and as I drag it we can see my arc height over here. So we're at 5.8, uh, 24.2 is the length. So at this point I'm going to go ahead and just click off of it and then I'm going to reselect the arc and I'm going to come up top here and I'm going to say my arc height needs to be 6. So I'm going to type in 6 up here and tap enter and it changed the arc height to 6 and it adjusted our arc length here and when I click off of it we have the exact same curve we just got to it two different ways. So that's another way to create that curve. You can curve it while you're drawing or you can just draw out the cord and then come back after select the wall, drag it to what it needs to be, and then adjust it up top. Okay, so that's the way you would draw that type of curve. Now let's move on down to the curved corner here. So I'm going to go back into draw mode, and I'm going to start, I'm going to align myself here, and let's get a little closer. All right, I'm going to tap enter, and we'll go five feet over for this one. So on this example, the way we're going to measure this curve is we need the rise and the run. Because our chord is an, at an angle, we need to know how far down and then how far right to get to this point here. So on, in this example, it's 10 feet down, 10 feet to the right. That's gonna set our chord, and then we will curve it out to an arc height of 2.9, it looks like. This will end up being a 90 degree curve, so it's actually gonna be a little easier than the top one but let's go ahead and get started on this one. So I'm gonna jump back onto the end of the line, tap enter, and I'm gonna go ahead and do 10 down. Without hitting enter, I'm gonna go 10 right. Okay, so that set our, our, our chord, so that 14.1 is the length from one side to the other. So now we need to curve it. We're gonna do it the same way as we did above. I'm gonna go ahead and tap the minus key on my keyboard. Each time I tap minus, it's gonna start curving it 15 degrees and that gets us to a 90 degree curve. And if we look, the arc height is actually correct. We got 2.9 on both of them. So in this instance, we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and tap enter, place it, and then we can confirm our 15.7 matches on both of them. So the measurements there are correct, and then we can move on with our sketch. We can also do it like I showed in the sec second example of the first one. So I'm gonna move back up, and I'm gonna go five feet over, and so we can do our rise and run. So we'll go 10 down, we'll go 10 right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tap enter, and I'm gonna come five down and tap enter, okay? So just like we did above, we went ahead and drew the cord, but we have not curved it yet. Now I wanna curve it. So I'm gonna come up to my pointer arrow, I'm gonna select the wall I wanna curve, and then I'm gonna drag it out from the center. Drag it out to 90, our arc height matches, our cord, our cord length is good, our arc length is good. So I'll go ahead and click off of it and we have the same curved corner now. So that's two different ways to draw that curve as well. So it's more of a preference. Do you prefer to draw the curve while you're drawing or would you prefer to come in and curve the wall after you're done drawing the area? There's no right or wrong way to do this. I hope everyone found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, as I said before, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. Feel free to like, share, and or subscribe. Otherwise, I will catch y'all on the next one.